Mazda has shifted its focus towards a more upscale image in the market, striving to present even its most basic models as desirable luxury alternatives. This strategy is evident in the careful and subtle enhancements made to the entry-level CX-30 crossover SUV, which replaced the less refined CX-3 in 2020. Since its debut, Mazda has continuously refined the CX-30, introducing a turbocharged engine option in 2021 and making all-wheel drive standard across the lineup in 2022, while discontinuing the front-wheel drive option. In 2024, Mazda further elevates the CX-30's appeal by offering a larger 10.3-inch display on higher-tier models. Pros Eye-catching design Offers a premium SUV driving experience. Turbo engine delivers enhanced performance compared to the base model. Cons Limited cabin space Noisy on the freeway Infotainment system can be frustrating to use. The CX-30 maintains its allure with its sleek design and upscale interior and exterior features. However, this enhanced appeal comes at a premium price, positioning it above competitors like the Honda HR-V, Toyota Corolla Cross, and Kia Soul. Consider the 2024 Mazda CX-30 Turbo equipped with the $3,965 Premium Plus package, which we tested. It stands at the top of the CX-30 lineup with a starting price of $38,175. Despite this, even the most affordable turbo variant costs $34,210, while the base CX-30 starts at $26,415. It's important to note that this is a subcompact crossover from a non-luxury brand, although Mazda's commitment to premium quality is evident throughout. The turbo model comes standard with the CX-30's available 250 horsepower, 2.5-liter turbocharged inline-four engine, replacing the 191 horsepower non-turbocharged 2.5-liter four found in other versions. Additionally, it features the new 10.3-inch central display, a 360-degree parking camera, parking sensors, automated emergency braking, front and rear, and Mazda's cruising and traffic support lane keeping and adaptive cruise control bundle. That's just the additional features offered on top of the CX-32.5 Turbo Premium trim. The CX-30 Turbo Premium Plus boasts even more luxuries, including a power tailgate, leather upholstery, heated front seats and steering wheel, Bose 12-speaker audio system, navigation, dual-zone automatic climate control, and power driver's seat. With such lavish additions, the CX-30 30 Turbo Premium Plus competes favorably against pricier luxury alternatives like the Lexus UX, Mercedes-Benz GLA Class, and BMW X1, offering similar equipment and size. But does the 2024 Mazda CX-30 Turbo convincingly straddle the mainstream and luxury segments? In terms of size, yes. The Mazda's cabin materials and quality surpass those of competitors like Honda, Toyota, and Jeep. Its driving dynamics are also noteworthy, offering a balanced ride and handling akin to a less sporty BMW. The suspension strikes a fine balance between firmness for secure body control and comfort for everyday driving. While the CX-30 Turbo handles bumps smoothly and quietly on most surfaces, it can feel unsettled on rough roads, with the suspension seemingly reaching its limits. Despite this, noise from the chassis remains subdued. However, wind and tire noise are more pronounced, reaching typical levels for small cars at highway speeds. While this is standard for the segment, it feels somewhat disappointing in the CX-30, given its otherwise refined leather-lined interior. The turbo engine is essential for buyers seeking quick acceleration from a standstill or for navigating bustling city streets. With its 250 horsepower and 320 lbft of torque, the CX-30 30 delivers impressive performance, but these figures are achieved only with premium fuel. On regular fuel, it produces 227 horsepower. While the flexibility to use regular fuel is convenient, it's worth noting that most similar-sized mainstream SUVs don't require premium fuel. Nevertheless, the CX-30 stands out as one of the most powerful vehicles in its class, whether luxury or not. However, despite its potency, the CX-30 Turbo wasn't the fastest model we've tested,
clocking 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and covering the quarter mile in 14.8 seconds at 95.3 miles per hour. An earlier model we tested in 2021 achieved quicker times of 5.8 seconds and 14.3 seconds in the same tests. As previously observed, the turbocharged engine in the Mazda CX-30 remains subdued during everyday driving. Switching between a CX-30 turbo and a non-turbo variant without aggressive throttle inputs would hardly reveal the turbocharged engine's additional power. The turbo's strength becomes apparent only at higher engine speeds when significant acceleration is demanded. This characteristic adds a premium touch to the powertrain, avoiding sudden surges or overly eager responses seen in some competitors like the turbocharged Hyundai Kona. Similarly, the transmission prioritizes smoothness over sportiness, although engaging sport mode prompts the gearbox to hold lower gears consistently, even during straight-line acceleration. These are significant distinctions because the Kona lacks the smoothness of the Mazda and takes an additional 1.4 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. While both small SUVs feature turbocharged engines, the CX-30 outperforms the Kona in several aspects. It stops 3 feet shorter from 60 miles per hour, covering the distance in 115 feet. Despite the CX-30's slightly lower skid pad grip of 0.81G compared to the Kona's 0.83G, it excelled in our figure 8 test, completing it in 26.9 seconds at an average of 0.67 g, whereas the Kona managed it in 27.2 seconds at 62 centimos. Although not explicitly sporty, the Mazda instills above-average driver confidence and handles corners adeptly. Another point worth considering is the pricing comparison with the Kona. Like the CX-30, the Kona's top-tier trim comes at a surprisingly high cost and shares similar limitations. The Kona Limited version we tested approached nearly $35,000. Its cabin feels almost as cramped as the Mazda's, although fitting a convertible car seat was slightly easier due to the Hyundai's seemingly taller and larger door opening. This highlights the challenge of choosing between them, especially when similarly priced options like Mazda CX-5 or competitors such as the Hyundai Tucson, Honda CRV, or Toyota RAV4 offer more space and less opulent features. Alternatively, entry-level models from luxury brands like the GLA Class, X1, or Lexus UX could also be considered. In essence, while the 2024 Mazda CX-30 Turbo straddles the line between mainstream and luxury, it excels in some areas without mastering any, as we previously observed during a year-long test with a non-turbo variant. While the 2024 Mazda CX-30 Turbo boasts style, it falls short on functionality, offering less cargo space than a similarly sized Mazda 3 hatchback and featuring Mazda's frustrating infotainment system, which restricts touchscreen use while driving, although Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are now accessible via touch even in motion. If aesthetics are your priority, this might not bother you much, but practicality takes a backseat. Another gripe about the screen. While visually appealing, Mazda underutilizes its space, leaving most of it black, and the on-screen text is disproportionately small and difficult to read. However, the center console's control knob, which you'll rely on instead of touch inputs, operates smoothly, and Mazda's menu layout is relatively intuitive. For those in the market for a mainstream small SUV, there are better options offering greater value and more spacious interiors, even if they don't match the CX-30 Turbo's acceleration. Mazda may have better luck attracting buyers considering